Hello, this is AAL TV. I'm Hadi and I'm at the press conference for Shameful Deceit. Now, we're so used to seeing Nollywood movies talk about controversial issues and have controversial storylines, but this one in particular is so different and it kind of goes even deeper and delves into more controversial issues and tells, them, tells us more about stuff that's going on in not just African families. And, and, I, and I think that's what's so interesting about the movie because it's not just about African families, it's relatable to everyone because everyone kind of goes through those stuff and these are things that go on behind closed doors that people don't want to talk about. Also in the movie we get to see it from the point of view of the person that's been abused and the abuser, especially if it's your father. It's such a horrific story but it's being portrayed so well and being told so well and it's definitely a must see for everybody. I'm with Teodara, the producer of Shameful Deceit. Hello Teodara. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yourself? Fine, thank you. Now, Theo, as well as um, play, as well as being the producer, mm -hmm. you also played a main lead role in the movie. I did. How did you find this? How was this for you? How, how could you manage to juggle both roles? Um, it wasn't easy. It was quite challenging because, uh, as the producer, I need to make sure everything was all right. Mm -hmm. Location, getting the cast, getting the on time, making sure everything was going. When I mean time. everything, yes. So it wasn't easy for me because. I also needed to read my script, get you my to, lines, yeah. you know, so that was the challenging aspect jobs, of the film. You had two jobs to get yes. right, yeah. Um, how do you think this movie represents African culture um, and what goes on in African homes? I wouldn't say it represents African culture alone, but the Western culture, because what happened in this movie is what happens everywhere in the world. So it's both the African culture and the Western culture. When I saw uh, the synopsis of this movie, I became very interested because um, um, it's something people don't really talk, talk about. about. Mm -hmm. And I said, if I put this into a movie, I mean, it will touch a lot of people. Definitely. And um, if they are thinking of doing it or if they have been doing it in the past, mm -hmm. maybe they might take a back step. Mm -hmm. So that was and it reason. also shows what to do when you're in the victim's shoes and stuff, which I think yes. is very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you are a victim, if you watch the film, I mean, instead of keeping it to yourself, being scared of being killed or anything happening to you, well, if you watch the film, you'll remember that, okay, I could go and make a report, I could mm -hmm. run down to a social place, I could, do I could call the police. Mm -hmm. You know, because some people, it happens to them, they are scared mm -hmm. and it keeps reoccurring because they can't they, they don't do up. anything yeah. about it yeah what challenges uh, did you face during making the movie um i've always been asked this question i didn't really go um, through so much challenges but like my director said that i'm not holy ghost <laughs> there must be something well i would say the only challenge was getting the sponsorship to produce mm -hmm. the movie mm -hmm. otherwise because i've had a little bit of experience in mm -hmm. other Jason. people's uh, film mm -hmm. I was able to put this together. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't too challenging for me, except for the fact that I had to do two things in one. At one, yeah. Being a lead actress and producing the movie. Well, good job. Thank you Thank so you much. very much for talking Thank to us here. I'm with Ayo. He's the associate producer of Shameful Deceit. Hello, now, Ayo, hello, Ayo. What does your role as an associate producer involve? Uh, essentially, I assist the producer. Um, I did, on the set of Shameful Deceit, I did a lot of running, you know, transportation and buying food. But most of all, I, I was one who came up with a budget for the movie and um, trimmed it down for the sponsor who was um, putting money in. I put some of mine in as well to, um, for support. Um, but essentially, just uh, making sure that the producer was well supported. That was my because idea. she had to think about playing her role in the movie, yes. being the lead actress as well as yes, being the producer. And yes, indeed. Um, yes, learning lines and all that. So I was there as a backup just to make sure she was on the right track. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think about the whole storyline behind Shameful Deceit? Yeah, I'm, I, I fully support it. I'm, I mean, I was there right from the beginning. So I, I went for the script myself and... Uh, it's a very interesting subject matter, very controversial. Definitely. Uh, it's definitely time that we blew this thing wide open. Um, it's just, it's too much um, hidden. So it's, it's good. And I hope um, we've done it justice. 
So you think the movie will help raise awareness? Definitely, definitely. And uh, there will be a helpline uh, number at the end of it so that you just don't watch the movie and say, oh, whoa, what, what do so I do? Mm -hmm. So you, you know you can either rush to the police or if, if you're too scared because mm -hmm. of your parents, um, you, you um, ring the helpline. Mm -hmm. Okay. To, to get help. Very yeah. good. Okay. Thank you very much Thank for speaking you. to Thanks, me, Aya. Uh, I'll see you at the premiere. Okay. I'm with Ruke, the director of Shameful Deceit. Hello, Ruke. Hello. Now, Ruke, what made you decide to direct this movie? Because it's kind of like tapping into unknown territory in the sense that you don't know what the reaction is going to be like from the audience. Uh, basically, for me, when I do when a project, I try and look beyond the immediate and try and see what are the lasting. Uh, impacts the movie will have and um, I come from Africa, I come from Nigeria, I come from Nollywood and most of our Nollywood movies have a message. Most of the core Nollywood movies, uh, I start to say, we have quite a number that are not as they should be but the actual Nollywood movies always have a story, always have a message, always have something they're trying to tell the audience. And uh, when I got the script, I went through it and I found that it had all the elements I would like to see in the movie. So that was a major attraction. What was your reaction to seeing the script and um, the story that's being told about the rape, the father raping the daughter and stuff? Yes, it's quite, uh, it's quite shocking and um, uh, like I always say, it's always best to shock people out of their comfort zones mm -hmm. because it it happens. Mm -hmm. you can't say it doesn't happen. So mm -hmm. let's 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 do it and see. Let's try and expose it as much as we can because for me it's unthinkable. Uh, I have a daughter, so mm -hmm. it's unthinkable that mm -hmm. a man wants Would to do that. Daughter, and well, but it happens. And it happens. Those ones they should actually should. Can I say it? Uh, I can't say what I want. I want <laughs> to to be done to them, but then that's it. Okay. Well, thank you very much for talking to me, Ruke. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Ryan. We're at the press conference for Shameful Deceit. I'm with one of the actresses, Marie Gomez. Now, Marie, congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Um, it's out. Friday the 5th, that's the premiere. Yeah. Um, so tell us a bit about the movie. How intense was it for you playing the character of being a rape, rape victim? Uh, when I first got the script, it was really, really, I, need, I really needed to read the script over and over again to understand what happened to this young girl. So the producer, who was um, Theodora, said to me, if you don't want to do it, let me know, because obviously it's a really um, emotional, and um, sensitive topic for someone to play. Mm -hmm. So um, I was up for it from from the start because it was it would have been a challenge that I would have loved to do. Would you say it's so. definitely one of your most challenging movies to date? One of, if not the most the challenges most. since I started acting. Yeah, because I really, really had to tap into being a victim of rape mm -hmm. and. Um, <coughs> Truth be told, I still can't, I still cannot, you know, get, still your get my head around, around that things like that happen. It's such a sensitive So it's really, really issue. sensitive, you know. And um, people don't talk about it as much, which is very good that yeah, this movie kind of out. highlights that and talks about it and everything. Yeah. yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying anyone that's in this situation or have been in this situation that hasn't uh, spoken out or come out they really really need to go out and just get help because it really really makes a difference which they show in the movie as which, well yeah, yeah. Which, which, which is shown in a movie clearly mm -hmm. so um, mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's really <laughs> it's, it's wow yeah people should just go out and watch it and then because wow that there, there's a message in that and that I think that it will touch every single person definitely, definitely. whether you have been a victim or not <coughs> or not yeah, yeah. So. it's it's definitely very relatable and kind of um, it, sh it definitely does represent African culture yeah. and stuff that goes on behind closed doors. Definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you so, very much for talking to you. me, Marie. Thank you. I'm with Aduni. Now, Aduni, you're one of the supporting actresses in the Shameful Deceit, and you're also one of the extras as well. So, how excited are you about this movie? Shameful Deceit is such um, an incredible movie. It's very exciting. I mean, the topic is something that is key to everyone and every family. It's full of suspense and drama um, mm -hmm. and entertainment. We've got some cameos, I think, in there, and some wonderful entertainment. It's a very wonderful movie. I think it's one not to be missed. Definitely. Well, I'll see you at the premiere.
I'm with Annie. Now, Annie, you play the receptionist in Shameful Deceit. Yeah, I played one of the extra as a receptionist at the sheltered home where Vivian ran to for help. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about the movie in general? What are your uh, opinions on the movie? The movie, the way I see it, I think is a, the storyline is to create awareness, not just in the community here in the UK, but back home in Africa, because this is something that's really kept undercover. And um, when kids are being abused by their parents, they, they feel ashamed to talk about it. And even in situations when they speak to their mom, the mom would beat them and said, no, and say, don't, talk don't about let that. anyone exactly. hear this. Mm -hmm. Don't ever say things like this. And um, I think one of our awareness, again, is having somewhere to run to. And I just hope that this would sort of like drive that news back home for them to create a safe place, like a safe house, so that mm -hmm. when the teenagers are in trouble, they, they, can, can, they have somewhere to go. Because mm -hmm. most of the times they stay in those and remain quiet about the whole thing because they don't have anywhere to run to mm -hmm. because they are dependent on their parents only. Mm -hmm. And um, if they know that there's somewhere safe they can go to, then I think they will come out more. They'll speak out, yeah, more, they'll about speak out more about well, this. Well, thank you very much for talking yeah. to me, Ene. Thank, thank you. you. With all due respect, Lady Wilfred, I am not going back on my decision. <laughs> it cannot happen for my son, the first, to have a divorce in the family ah, over my dead body. Mm -mm. Mm. Wait a minute. I'm a bit confused here. Who are you trying to protect? Your family name, your son or your granddaughter who will grow up coming from a broken home? Which one is it? Ah. Which one is your own now? Why are we even having this discussion? Isn't it your son you should be talking to Lady Wilfred? Elizabeth. Hey, baby. Hello, darling. How are you? Mm -hmm. How are you? You're looking lovely. How's what been? Oh, can't imagine. I trust my mother to walk me to death. <laughs> I know. Anyway, let me ease your stress. Mm. And give you some good news. Oh, I'm all ears. I am pregnant. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's, that's awesome. It is, baby. What did you just say? <laughs> I said I am pregnant. You are pregnant? Yeah. How? Pardon me? You heard me. How did you get pregnant? Oh. We slept together. We made love. We had sex. That's how? 